Okay, so with our material applied, the next thing we want to do is look at adding something like rust. So let's go back to our paint tool. Um, just to show you, you can have your wireframe on all the time if you want, again, in your viewer settings. And uh, what we're going to do with this is add a, um, a new fill layer. And we're going to um, make sure we've got our channel selected. So we've got base color, height, roughness, and metallic. So what we're going to do is actually make our own little rust kind of layer here. So we're going to make pick like a a rough kind of rust color like so. Um, we're going to make sure that our height is indented a bit. Um, in fact, we'll leave that until we've painted something in. So we'll set our roughness, and we'll our metallic should obviously be black because it's no longer a once rust is um, oxidized, it's no longer a conductive material. So we'll right click and we'll add a black mask so nothing is showing through. And then what we'll do is we'll select our mask, make sure we're in paint mode, and we'll just um, pick a brush to paint some rust with. So maybe we'll just pick something like this artistic, artistic one brush. So let's just paint something in with that make sure we're on white and you can see that is coming through we just check our mask out and see if that's what that looks like so if we just go back to our rust color tab and we'll just try changing the height here you can see I can make this either protrude either extrude out or indent like so. I can set the roughness of this so I can have it really reflective or not reflective at all. And um, yeah, so that's one really quick way to like build up rust. But obviously there's not much kind of detail going on this and the patchy uh, areas are not very realistic. So what we want to do is do more kind of customization on this. So uh, what we'll do then, we'll just add black mask and just fill this back in. And uh, what we're going to do is use like a stencil brush. So we can see this is where we fill our alpha in. But if we go to stencil and just scroll down and we'll just try one like this. Basically, this is a uh, alpha that sits over your viewport and acts as like a, a real time mask. So wherever it's white on this, I will actually paint onto the model. So let's just use a default hard brush and just try painting there. And you can see that alpha is coming through onto onto my model. So I might think, where am I going to get rust? Well, maybe we'll get a little bit down here, so we'll paint this in like so. And maybe beneath it we'll get a little patch like that and build a little bit up here. And another couple of like small patch areas. And, and then if we just kill the stencil we can see what that's doing we're getting those kind of rust areas and we can, we can even go into our mask press X to go to black and just like paint out any little bits that you might not like um, so the rust is kind of indenting right and the reflections are right but we're not really getting any normal bump and um, any kind of surface detail so to do that let's have a look at our height map to start and you can see we've got loads of different procedural maps here we can use. So let's just pick something like that one. And we can see now this is starting to get a bumpy surface to it. So we can change the different settings on this as well. Let's increase the contrast. And you can add some disorder in too. That's getting a bit more of a kind of rusty look to it. But we don't really have anything going on in the base colour. But you can see here we can actually drag in any um, texture that we that we want. Just by clicking here we can pick any kind of texture that we've got loaded in our scene. So what I have here is a, um, a rust uh, texture that I've made. So I'm going to come over to Textures tab and I'm going to drag that. And I'm going to drag that into here. So there we go, that appears there. And then in my base colour I can just drag it straight into there and that will give me that colour information. Um, 
So obviously what I can do here is check out the scale of it as well. So you know you can figure out how many times you want this to actually kind of tile on your model. Let's press M to go back. And now we're starting to get more of a kind of rust look to this. I'd say at the moment though the stencil isn't particularly nice, like just it's coming across okay, so it's getting some nice bits. But what if we wanted to do our own custom one? Well, if we go to um, back to our kind of alphas again, and then what we're going to do is go to our box tutorial, and I have some alphas here that I've created for various different rust effects. So let's try and um, bring some of those in. I'm just going to save at this stage though in case this crashes. Um, so yeah, we'll bring in a couple of alphas, so we'll just drag those straight into here. And you can bring in obviously as many as you want. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, go back to our mask and in our stencil we will select one of those. Obviously again you can just pick in here and just drag it across. So let's just try something like that and we'll stick that on our stencil. So now we can see that's appearing as an actual stencil there. So we'll make sure we're on white and we can paint that paint that in. Um, so maybe we'll bring down our hardness a little bit on that brush and just paint over that. And obviously the further you zoom out the more uh, scale this kind of has. So let's just try sticking this kind of over here. So you can paint that in and obviously that all kind of comes through. There's a big patch area of rust. So we can see that work in there. So yeah, we can try that again by using other stencils. So again, just come over here and find a stencil that you might want to use and drag that into there. And again, find the scale so that you're happy with it and apply that in as a mask. Now, remember we discussed earlier about your texture quality. So this could be a good time to come back in and just preview how this will look on our final image size. There we go, so you can see you're getting a bit more kind of detail on that. It's probably worth coming into our steel as well, and I think the uh, roughness needs to be tweaked a little bit, I'd say. Maybe something a little bit more like that. Um, and obviously we can come back into uh, into here and we can set things like go in and set our set our height layer for our rust as well. So if you're not happy with it, a really nice easy way to tweak it, just to slide that across. Okay, so we've now got some rust detailing going on here. So the next thing we're going to do is actually add some uh, decals.